All right, you guys, let's run through some of the new features that are in Quote IQ. This is uh, the new update. You guys can find this update on um, Android in the App Store. There's still some bugs that we're working through. We really wanted to push this because it's got a ton of new features in it, um, and we want to now move our focus to bugs. So if you guys have bugs, I'll have an email in the description of wherever this video is posted. If it's on Facebook, it's on Facebook. If it's through an email, it's in an email. Uh, but just respond back with your bugs, with your login information, what device you're using, things of that nature, and we are going to try to crush as many bugs as possible. Let's walk through some of the new stuff that is in here. So we'll create an estimate for Mr. Beast here. The first thing that we added in was a flat rate. So now you guys can now put a flat rate um, in here. So some people were saying, you know, what if I don't want to use a square foot calculator? Or whenever I do use a square footage, sometimes it comes out as a decimal. Um, you know, like you'll have, you know, 58 cents. I just want it to be a round number. Now you have the ability just to come in and type in um, a flat rate price. And as you can see, works perfect. So flat rates, the first thing that we added in, I know that there is a bug currently uh, with regards to adding a service description to uh, one of the services on here. So we have that on the notes that's going to be remedied here shortly. The other things that we added in to here is you now have a spot for uh, terms and conditions. You can now set this as a default as well. So it's always added on to every single estimate. As you guys know, you can add photos, you can still attach documents, but uh, terms and conditions was something that you guys really wanted on here so that we could put your customer contract on there. So we'll click proceed. It's going to give us our preview of what the screen looks like. As you can see, now we have terms and conditions. Whatever else you guys would like to see um, on this part, as far as, you know, if we were thinking about maybe adding in a place where you could put um, insurance, like a picture of your insurance, or you can put some before and after pictures, or maybe you can put other services that you provide. We want to add to this list, so whatever you guys want to add in to your estimates when you send them, please let us know, and I will get those added in. We just know that the first and foremost, the biggest thing was um, the terms and conditions, because that was huge. The next thing that we did here is, uh, as you guys know, this really wasn't working that well. However, now you can now email to whatever... Um, whatever email that is set up with the contact that you're using. So as you guys can see here, this is Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast at gmail.com. We're gonna send him an email. We're gonna click Gmail always, boom, and then it's gonna from to Mr. Beast at gmail.com, estimate from Justin's P Wash. Um, and then I'm gonna actually send this to myself so I can show you guys what we did with the link. So now you can send text messages directly to whatever contact information is saved. You can send emails directly to whatever contact information is saved. And the estimates no longer send as PDFs. You can still download it as a PDF if you'd like to. Um, however, it sends as a link. And I'm gonna show you guys that here in a second because that does a couple things within the app. So we're gonna click exit here. We'll scroll down. I have an estimate from Justin's P wash here. So this is the link that it sends. You can click on this link right here. It's then going to take you to a web page, which is going to do a couple things. Let's give it a second to load. First and foremost, what it's going to do is it's going to notify you that the um, estimate was viewed. Here you go. So first and foremost, it's going to it's going to notify you that estimate was viewed uh, by Mr. Beast. So that's perfect. So then this is what the estimate now looks like. You can also click this and it makes everything brighter. So if you're using the light version of the app, it'll be light. If you're using the dark version of the app, it'll be dark. But as you guys can see, it's got terms, it's got um, services, the prices, everything, all the information here. And it sends you a notification letting you know that the person has viewed it. The next thing is, is they can accept it. And when they do accept, they're asked to please input their full name. So that way, anyone who accepts an estimate has to put in their full name before it can be accepted. Boom, and when they do accept, it means that they agree to the terms of service and everything else that was incorporated in there. So as you guys can see, it's gonna pop up with an accepted. Thank you, we will contact you, sh contact you shortly to schedule. So you as the user will then get a notification that says estimate accepted. Your estimate was accepted by Mr. Beast. Okay, beautiful. And so now if we come into um, estimates, ideally, this should be in the accepted. We we created a new accepted uh, folder in here. It's not in there. Let's see if I close it out, if I can auto refresh it and it'll pop up in there. Like I said, guys, it might not be perfect right out of the gate, but 
we're implementing a bunch of new things. So it is what it is. Okay, so it's not in the accepted yet. That's taken a little long. I'm gonna add that to the list for that to be adjusted. But whenever an estimate is accepted, it will push it into the accepted folder. For right now, it's here. As you guys know, you saw the notification. It was accepted, so now we can go ahead and schedule it on the schedule. We will say that we're gonna do this Wednesday, November 30th, and we will do it at 11 a.m. Boom, beautiful. So 11.30, perfect. Then that's gonna push it obviously into the accepted. Uh, and then the next thing that we did was we did some edits to the calendar. So let's go ahead and go into November 30. What we did was, is as you guys can see, we got Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast scheduled right here. We put um, the number for the customer right here and it's a clickable link. So now if you wanna send him a text or you wanna give him a call, you can go ahead and it'll just populate whatever contact information is saved for him so as you guys can see it populated his number if we wanted to go to the address we would click the address and then it would take us into google maps or it would take us into apple maps and that would tell us exactly where we need to go anyway we added in those two things so that way um you guys could you know basically run your business from this calendar screen so that way you wake up you look at the calendar you know what jobs need to be done you can contact the customer if you need to you can go straight to the address by clicking it if you need to and the other thing that we did is we added a done to the calendar button so that way you don't have to go back into the estimates and sort your estimates once it's on the schedule you can click done here and from done we can then send an invoice so this is going to take us into the invoice um do upon receipt Correct. We're not going to do any discount. We're not going to do any tax rate. We can put a client message. We now have um, add accepted payment methods. So cash card, PayPal, Venmo. You guys can add in your own payment methods. We now have add payment terms. This is me testing it to make sure it works. You now have save as default here. So we're going to save and continue. And it's going to take us into the invoice preview screen. So the invoice preview screen is pretty much exactly like the other one. Um, it just has accepted payment methods and payment terms on there. You guys can do whatever you want to do with the, with the payment terms, whatever you want to do with the accepted payment methods. So let's go ahead and e email this to myself again so I can show you guys how this works now because this also delivers as a link instead of a PDF. So I should get an email, boom, I got an email from myself, invoice from Justin's P-Wash. And if I'm Mr. Beast, I'm gonna open this up. It's gonna load. And as you guys can see, we got a beautiful invoice here with our terms, our accepted payment methods. And then if we click pay, this is automatically connected to our Stripe checkout. So if you guys have added in your banking information within Quote IQ through Stripe, it's gonna then populate a um, checkout link right right through here so new invoices new estimates that took a ton of work a ton of time but we wanted to make that super good for you guys so that way it wasn't sending pdfs anymore that way it could send directly to whatever phone number you had connected or whatever um email that was connected through that contact uh, the other thing that we added in is if you come into the inspection form you can now multi-add photos so that was one thing that you guys were asking for is a multi-add on photos another thing that i have in the notes is we're going to add a photo button to each point within this inspection so like if you said the front door did we cover with plastic yes you can now take a picture of the door covered with plastic and include that within the inspection form so that is on the way um, another another thing that we added is is if you go if you guys go into the settings you can now add an um, estimate email template so if you'd like to you can you know say hey thank you so much for um, inquiring about a quote. If you'd like to get the service done, click the accept button and we'll be in contact you shortly to schedule your estimate, whatever you want to put in there. You can also do uh, email templates for invoices. And basically when you, sh when you click the email button, what it's going to do is, is uh, it's going to pre-populate with whatever the email template is that you have selected. So um, off the top of my head, those were the biggest things. Really, we, we really, really focused on um, creating alerts for when the estimate was viewed, when the estimate was accepted. We really prioritized restructuring the um, how the estimates were sent via links. Uh, as well as adding in a few different things like accepted and then they auto sort. So if somebody declines your estimate, it will mark it as declined. So those are the couple of things that we did. Um, there's a bunch of other little bug fixes in here. Like I said, we're going to transition into solely focusing on bugs. You guys give us some time. Uh, if you notice any bugs, send us an email and we will uh, get those fixed up. But uh, I hope you guys like all the new additions. Um, we're working on a ton of stuff. I appreciate you guys for being patient with us. We're going to make this the best app ever for the service industry. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.